mentioned, his last two starts besides the Reds one, pretty good back-to-back -back starts against the Pirates. Went six innings the first time he faced Pittsburgh, and then seven his next time. Ground ball, it'll be Rojas making the play. Cut in front of Joe. So that's two days in a row just before first pitch that the Reds made a move. We'll get into that uh, again as the night on that second. One ball and no strikes from Garrett. Gets him to swing over the top of the curveball. Do that, and that slider that he's been throwing quite a bit is pretty nasty. That is on the line and a fair ball into the left field corner. Senzel gets into second base, still rattling around in there, but he will stop at second. Kyle Farmer, shortstop for the Reds, takes a strike at the bottom of the zone. Oh, no. Low and away. One ball and one strike. That's fouled away. Why? Yeah. And yeah. the shortstop or second baseman can't go on that other side. Yeah, we had a little breakdown of that just a few days ago. Talk Imagine what that's going to look like. Kicks away from Fortes. Actually, it was a hit by pitch, so a dead ball. Immediate left turn. <laughs> Joey Votto takes a strike inside corner. Two on, one out here in the first inning. Garrett with the pitch that's down low. Ultimately, five innings and five earned runs, but a walk and eight strikeouts against the Reds. That one misses inside. Yeah, you can see the commands off. And, you know, as the season gets later, I can understand that because they've been throwing a lot. They're about, what, 19, 20 starts into their starters. You wind up, you should probably be throwing more. And a lot of that's the same angle as you are in the game mount. That's a There's only half. But you see his change up. He had a 91 mile an hour fastball. And you have an 86, 85, 86 mile an hour changeup. That's not enough. You know, if you if you're there's not a lot of speed off of that or differential between the fastball and the changeup. Despite hitting 365 with a 397 on base percentage over his last 19 games, but here he's down on strip been out since mid June. Activated today. It's a big swing and a miss. 15 games since. Base hit through the right side. One run is in. Here comes the throw from Garcia. I'm surprised Votto didn't try to go to third there. On the throw to the plate, or thing and one on Matt Reynolds, third baseman for Cincinnati. He was the one that was inserted into the line. 24th pitch here in the first inning. Bouncer back to him. And throws wide and for four night last night for Albert Almora Jr. And he takes a strike all over there. He did a little bit. I mean, he hesitated and he threw he threw a changeup. Might get out of it with any further damage. He will. But two in for Contra will be on the hill. Mark Colesbury takes a called strike. Nine will start behind the plate. Down the left field line, and it sneaks by. Oh, playing bones, get the bones out. Yeah. Is it? Uh, what was your your card game of choice on the plane? We play this game called Bure. Okay. It's uh, the dealer turned a hand, and Fortes smothers that one. Throws to fix. You got to match the pot. Five dollars a game. Five. Yeah. So it's if you get six, that's, that'd be that would be thirty dollars. Wow. Pop. Jonathan India 01 pitches down in the dirt. Which I'm when assuming I was a rookie in Seattle. And so <laughs> and the money wasn't like it was today. So it's like you kind of you're well to break down all the, the different moves, the big ones. The blockbuster, of course, with the Padres. Juan Soto and Josh Bell. The Braves are real busy. Yeah. Iglesias. Got Iglesias right before the deadline. Yes, that's a whoa, wow. Eric Hosmer to go to Washington, or we thought, but he has a no trade clause, and he said, no, I'm not going to Washington. Hosmer ends Reds lineup yesterday, but in terms of Juan Soto, that's a uh, 
an interesting move. He still has a couple of years. He, he right for the Padres With tied Tatis, up in three players. Machado. <laughs> Which is something else. Probably with what in the next at least two weeks you're probably going to get him back. So you have two of the brightest young stars in baseball in your and that was that that kind of was like a little slide piece down and in. And that was a slide piece and down and in wound up hitting them. 12 back so their eyes are most likely on one of the wild cards but I heard something funny today with the season that Josh Bell is having. And if the Padres end up exactly. on Soto trip. I don't know if it'll ever be that. <laughs> Line and on a hop, it gets by Miggy, recovers in time to get the out at second. But still has a great arm. Right. Well, runs okay, not, not into the number five spot in the Marlins order. Right. Now it's nothing in two on here. I'm exchanging some words there with Nick Marley. Well, not inside. And he's shaking his head. You might want to come right back in with it. Hey. Called strike three. Now you're seeing it all the time. Especially that first inning. Faced eight hitters. And 26 pitches, a couple of runs. Left the bases loaded there in that first inning. Pick one of those guys, you just take the mascot. <laughs> That's right. I'm sure if they Mr. Red. Half their team Gapper, got traded. They've got so. Gaffer. They've yeah. got a whole yeah. the Mets have Mr. and Mrs. Met, the first couple of New York sports. Was that fighting for it? <laughs> they got Jacob DeGrom making his season debut tonight as Braxton Garrett gets the strikeout of Donovan Solano. Back to back K's and five on the night for it over almost like a screwball. They tell you it's similar to like painting. A, you know, you're, you're a good painter. You paint a house, how the, the hell the stroke draw, goes up but and I down, can but paint. you can paint. Yes. Well, that's yeah. what it's like when you're throwing that change up. With Pablo and you know Braxton has a good one tonight. And, you know Sandy's is like most people's fastball, about 92, 93. But you know I, I taught everyone how to throw a changeup, and he never came to my locker. <laughs> Fortes picks it up, throws Reynolds, Almora, and Colesbury here in the fourth inning. Hey. You know the one thing you know if you're a Marlins fan, what you want to see, and just like the front office differential is a huge thing they were in the positive there for a little bit and then all of a sudden now they're minus 36 I mean that's got that's got to be reversed you know remember when we were talking about oh they had a positive run to you know they should be playing over 500 baseball so you want to see your young players and they have some good young pitching coming up Kicks away. Fortes tracks it down. Throw Dental in and after that first, and that slider is a huge pitch. He's hit two guys with it, two Reds <laughs> players with that slapping nose and being able to throw out the runner for a strikeout, but that's four in a row. Yeah, and Klein will change up to the righty, down and away, and then all of a sudden you come right back in with that slider. Here's that change up. One two pitch. And Maybe a, a slight change in the usage of his pitches as this one's lined out to center for Blade. Doesn't have the overpowering fastball to be able to fool guys, you know, to be able to, they can react quickly. I that he was able to get a fly ball to center field. It makes that slider that much better. Check swing and a no man's land. Infield single for Colesbury. And you would see where the defense is. You know, your your focus is on the hitter. But once that ball gets past you, and especially to the first by, first base side of the field. Up of the order, Jonathan India waits on an 0-1 pitch. Fouls that one back. India, a ground out and a strikeout. Runner goes. Swing and a miss. No need for a throw down to second base. That's it. You know, we've had our eye on him for uh, a while now. 
um, and we thought it was a good move. You know, this broadcast and Paul, like you mentioned, she will be joining you and Nellie in the booth tomorrow night. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Jordan Groshans. We're in from uh, all reports on Groshans a few years ago. So, so again, the, the the hope for a shortstop, second baseman, middle infield type, as that one's lined out to Mickey Rowe, is at least for now some organizational depth. But we'll see. Obviously, that hasn't worked out this year. You have a long-term deal with Soler and also Garcia, so hopefully that'll turn around. You're right. You have to find different ways to score. And you just can't rely on the long ball or hopefully somebody hits a three run homer as to score, you know, shorten up the swing, make things happen, hit the other way. You know, it's going to be interesting next year, too, because the shift's not going to be the shift's not getting as far as making things happen, make th making things happen on the bases and stealing bases and stealing bags. Snag there by Garrett to retire for things. Joey Votto takes low. That's why LeBlanc is nowhere near the third baseline. He's throwing that thing on both sides of the plate. He'll mix in that change up down and in. The last time he got Votto was that change up down and in for a call strike three. No. I can, I can see your frustrations on that. But now a word from FPL. Because it fires you up. Yeah. <laughs> hey. That's right in the box. What's that was right box? down the middle. That was outstanding. <laughs> that was a good pick. There just wasn't a deal in place that made sense for the Marlins. Yeah, it wasn't a situation. He's not a, a rental would have gotten back. Otherwise, would have been a draft pick. It's not that situation at all. They still have some years of control for Pablo Lopez, which is great dollar. So, therefore, they did not. I can't imagine what Kim Ng went. Your Eastern Division champions, the NL East, but the baseball and the Mariners wind up get, getting him. And then you just go on down the line and pop social media about, hey, this club wants you, that club wants you. It's pretty hard to try to ignore that. For sure. There's a, another strikeout, double digit. Aquino gets Fortez there in the second inning after Sanchez's base hit. This one popped up. About okay, is it 6 o'clock? Is anybody going to call me in? And it's tough. Yeah. I mean, every player like Anthony Bass when they did that interview here. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know. A lot of guys, Pablo, Sandy, uh, Cooper, Miggy, having been down in the dumps for a little while. Did he go? He went around. So a career high tying is that number. And it's three Ks in a row going back to the fifth inning. As that one is down and in to Matt. And you see Garrett, I mean, just like Ashcraft, Consider that a a full windup, but an abbreviated full windup. In and out, and you do get behind and try to get back into the count. Might get an aggressive hitter right here in Reynolds. Maybe you drop a change up down here. Get another might get another strike out the side. Tried it, but. Here's a 3-2 pitch. I'll back. Do it again. He's thrown two sliders in a row. Come back with a fastball. Tried it, but missed upstairs.